fence needs a lot of work. And if you look at my, uh, my plans that I wrote down in my journal, you'll see that this little area, we're also going to be making it to a garden and a tiny little chicken coop as well, in addition to that. So basically, we'll just be putting T posts right here uh, and replacing the fence. This is a lot of work, but it's also a good workout. Was it hard? Yes. Was it worth it? Yes. One down, nine to go. But that's it for today, folks. It's really nice to have one of these uh, brooms, broom handles, broom sticks, uh, and just like, like so, pack it down to get that to overly compact. Alright guys, so, got up most of the fence posts, and now, So now that the whole fence is gone, there are three more posts to put up. One is going to go right here, and then the gate, these are the gate posts that we're going to put right there. So that's what we're going to do now. The gate is gonna be about three and a half feet long. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is a monster. I fought for this. It's getting darker now, so uh, let's get a move on and see if I can have the strength to get the next hole in. All right guys, sun's down, but I'm really happy with the way this came out. This thing is solid, so I'm really happy. This is gonna make a great gate. This one too. Uh, so we got all the posts up. That's probably it for today. It's really too dark. Problem is I have class at eight o'clock tomorrow. So I guess I'm gonna have to get up early and try to put up this fence tomorrow morning. So see you then. Also just a note here, no cement. These are about one and a half feet foot holes. So, before I put on this fence, I have one other thing to do. Alright, so these are 8 foot 2 by 2s, and this is going to make sure that deer don't get in. These are going to, here I'll show you. So these, we're going to line up and hook it up to, to the T-posts, so that this will go 8 feet high. And then we'll show you in a bit how that will stop all the deer. to keep these two by twos in place is this uh got a home depot just this little wire 
galvanized and you know flexible. Alright, hopefully you guys can hear over the uh, lawnmower in the back there, but I'm gonna be putting fishing wire on these two by twos, two by twos. And that's gonna stop the deer from jumping over. First of all, because everything's gonna be pretty packed tight in here, so they're not gonna have a place to land. But secondly, because they're gonna hit this and it's gonna be, you know, going up to eight feet. So when they feel just a little wire, they won't jump over. And that saves a lot of money on if you were to put a fence all the way up. 40 pound mono clear fishing wire. It's perfect. But before we do that, I think we're gonna put up the fence. So here we go. Okay, I steered you wrong. It turns out you need to put on the fence first because for the T posts, uh, for the T post clips, you have to put them on because they only fit over a T post. So you have to put that on before you put uh, the wood. So uh, good thing I caught that, and uh, I'm gonna undo that now and show you guys how it should be. All right, so the fence is pretty much up. We just have this part so I can get in. Uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm happy how it came out so far. Uh, so now it's time to put back the eight foot sticks. All right, so it's time to build the fence. It's time to build the gate. Inside is Three, uh, three feet, six inches, this is four feet. And then I'm just gonna cut to length these two by fours to make the outline of the fence. So we got this all together, also added this mid-frame here, just a little more support and looks a little better. So now we're just gonna line this up between the two posts and just make sure that you made your measurements right. That'd be a darn shame, but this looks, yeah, looks like it's, it's just gonna fit perfectly. So now what you wanna do is, I already started to cut it, but just take the, the piece of wire that is above, between the, the posts, just cut that out and then we're going to be putting this on here. Take out the table again. Are you recording? Yeah, do I? <laughs> sure. So, so with th these pieces, I just like use the stable gun, you know, get them back on. And then just nail it down a bit more. What I'll see is these, like stables like these, it's a, it's a lot harder, but whatever you got. Alright, so what we did was put these like two and a half inch uh, hinges, this two, and that, that that's pretty much good. It supports the gate pretty well. Uh, you could also put a latch on this side, but we didn't do that yet since it pretty much you don't sound like necessary, but we might just do it. have it stay put like that. We did it. All right, 
So we, we're ready for spring. We're gonna be putting the new beds right here. This keeps away the deer. No deer have gotten in so far, so it works. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Um, have a good day.